Hi everyone, uh, welcome back for another video on the horrible thing that is the coronavirus. Um, obviously things have changed in the last uh, few days since I did my last video. So today I'm just going to talk about a few things that have happened, uh, what the updates are here uh, in Xi'an, where I live, and I've been out on the bike a little bit, so I'll show you a little bit of footage of the streets and um, hopefully you can get an idea of how it is and, and what's going on. So firstly, the, um, the, the numbers uh, for this virus, obviously, for your confirmed cases and, and deaths and everything. Obviously, everything's still on the increase, and it doesn't look like it's going to slow down anytime soon. I've heard a few things like people saying that the peak is probably going to be around April, which just seems a really long way away, and hopefully, hopefully, I mean, it's not, it's not quite that bad. Um, positive things, I suppose, obviously, in, in the rest of China, outside of Hubei and Wuhan, um, actually, the numbers for the last four days have been increasing at actually a slower rate, which is great, which obviously that's great news. It means that hopefully some other provinces caught this just fast enough that they can hopefully control it. Um, the big problem, obviously, is still in, in, in Hubei province um, and the situation. Yeah, obviously, it's, it's, it's really bad. Um, I'm sure people are doing everything they can. Um, I went out on a bike. Um, and three days ago, um, just for a little ride around in the night, I was out for about 30 minutes, just to um, just to get some air, really. I've just been stuck at home all the time. And it's pretty good on the bike, I think. You know, people are saying, you know, the most important thing if you do go out is to keep your distance from people. Obviously, on the bike, I'm riding down the middle of the road and I'm wearing a mask and things. So I think it's probably relatively safe. Um, as you can see, the streets are very, very quiet. Although, they, I think they're, they're probably a little bit busier than they were a week ago. But if you have been to China, um, you know that this is not what China normally looks like. And if you haven't been, uh, these streets would normally be <laughs> just full of people, uh, full of people and full of cars. And as it is, it's it's incredibly quiet. Um, makes biking around the city quite a weird, quite a weird feeling actually. Um, it's 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 a bit unnerving. But nevertheless, it was good to get out again and uh, and see what's going on. So yeah, I know what you're thinking. Obviously, they need more lights, right? Um, in Xi'an, we've got this situation where, you know, we th they've been in the whole province, actually. The province, Shanxi province where I live, um, it's, a, it's roughly the size of England with a similar-ish population. And Xi'an is, again, roughly the size of London. Um, there are currently 88 cases in Xi'an and about double that in the entire province. Which is not, it's not incredibly serious, but obviously it's still something that everyone is thinking about and is, is, is worried about. Um, at the moment in Xi'an, I think I mentioned in my last video, basically certain buildings are being kind of semi-locked down, which means that if you, if, if you live in one of these buildings, one member of each household is allowed to go out every two days, every other day. Um, that's been extended now to not just buildings or communities, but to entire districts of the city. Um, in fact, almost every district of the city, except for the one that I live in. Um, so basically, if you live here, you have to kind of balance how you're going out and what you're doing when you are out. Um, you don't have much opportunity to go and buy your food and drink, so you've got to kind of plan things pretty well. At the moment where I live, um, I can still go out quite freely. <laughs> I'm not going out freely, and I don't think anyone really is, but you can go out whenever you want. Um, Outside of that bike ride, which was three nights ago, I, in the last three days since then, I've been out once for a grand total of five minutes to pick something up, um, which is, you know, tough. I find that quite tough, but nevertheless, it's important. It's what we need to do. Right, another thing I want to talk about uh, in this video is the UK's response. Um, obviously, I'm a, I'm a UK citizen, um, and a couple of days ago, the Home Office in the UK said that they want, or they suggest that anyone who's in China, any UK citizen in China, which apparently there are 30,000 of us, should get out if we can. Um, right, what do I think about that? Well, firstly, I'm not going, um, as you can probably tell. And I have, I, have, I have my reasons for that. Firstly, I think the, the place where I am right now is, it's not, it's not particularly serious, it is serious, but it's not like, you know, um, for example, Hubei or Wuhan. I think if you're in Hubei or Wuhan, I think people should probably be doing what they can to get out of there. Um, however, I think f 
for the government in the UK to, to, to make that <laughs> to make that call is a actually I disagree with that. I think it's I think it's completely ridiculous. It doesn't seem to make any sense to <clears throat> kind of cause that much panic. And I think it does I think that does cause panic. So basically the situation is if if for example I was to get on a plane now and go back to the UK, like they've asked me to, there would be no quarantine <laughs> for me. <laughs> They've said just people can go back and, you know, monitor themselves. So basically, they're asking us to stop what we're doing right now, which is staying away from everyone and actually looking after ourselves. Go and sit on an aeroplane <clears throat> with three, four hundred people for 12 hours, who we don't know, and then just go go back home and look after ourselves. Well, I don't particularly want to do that because obviously that would mean going back to my parents' house and that doesn't make sense to put anyone else in any in any risk. I think at the moment I'm, I think I'm fine. Um, but who knows after an airport and, 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 uh, and a long flight. So, um, yeah, so I'm, that's what, that's why I'm not going to go. It doesn't make any sense to me. If you disagree with me, of course, if you have any opinions, please put them in the comments because I'm, I would like to know what other British people are doing in China actually. So one of the big question marks, um, right now is, is the work situation still. Now we haven't had an update. We haven't had any updates yet. Technically, people should be going back to work on Monday. Um, personally, I don't think that's going to happen. I imagine that in the next, either today or tomorrow, we're, we're going to get an update and say it's been put back another week. It doesn't seem to make any sense when, you know, when the local government is locking down entire districts to these, you know, going out once every two days kind of thing, to then suddenly be like, okay, everyone back to work. So I think that that will, that will be extended again. Um, Obviously, there are still some things up and running, as you'd imagine, but the majority of people are not back at work yet. The holiday just keeps getting extended. Holiday, of course, not being, not being the right word. Okay, so just a few final thoughts. Um, firstly, if you do have any questions at all, please just put them in the comments below. I will get back to you. Um, and I'm going to keep doing updates on this, I've decided. So just um, hit the subscribe button and um, hopefully I'll try and do an update probably every three days, I guess, two or three days. That's what I'm going to look at. Um, I'll let you know how things are here, um, not just what people are guessing at in other places, but actually what is really happening here in China um, as I see it. And I'm going to try and do my best to get out a little bit more, hopefully before I get locked down, and just do a little, take a little bit more footage and just to, to show you what the streets and things are like. Um, and we'll go from there. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, take care and stay safe. Bye bye.